Okay, a bit more trig. Uh, more involved trig equations, I would say, instead of harder trig equations. But hit pause, get lesson objective down. When you're ready, hit play again. We'll look at an example. So in this equation, it says solve the equation cos 2 theta equals minus 1 in the interval of 0 to 360 degrees. Well, the first thing to notice is that it says cos 2 theta. So what we've got to look at is uh, the range of 2 theta. Because the range of values for theta is 0 to 360. Because it's 2 theta, we have to double the values. So we're going from 0 less than or equal to 2 theta less than or equal to 2 times 360. 720 degrees. So we're looking for all values of 2 theta between 0 and 720. So let's solve that first. Cos of 2 theta is equal to minus 1, which means that 2 theta is equal to cos to the minus 1, the inverse cos of minus 1. And we plug it into our calculator and it gives us 180 degrees. Now we've got to sketch our curve, our cosine curve. Now I'm going to try and sketch it from 0 to 720 degrees. So it should look something like that. And that's not the worst that I've ever done it. Um, so there's our 180 there, 360. 540 and 720. Okay, so you're going from 1 to minus 1. So 180 degrees or minus 1. Oh, let's use a different color. I'm not sure this is wise. It might, uh, we'll try it anyway. So our minus 1 hits 180 there and it hits again there at 540 and then we get up to 720. So the two values we're looking at for 2 theta are 180 degrees and 540 degrees. So we can say 2 theta is equal to 180 and 540. The next one would be 900 but that's irrelevant. That's outside our 720. So 2 theta goes up to 720. Now we can find theta is equal to we half the values. 180 divided by 2 or 540 divided by 2. And that gives us 90 degrees and 270 degrees are our solutions. So those are our solutions that lie between nodes and 360 for theta. But we've had to double them for our range. Okay, so it's not too bad. Hit pause, um, copy the example down, sketch the curve, always sketch the curve, very important. And when you're ready, hit play again and we'll look at another example. Okay, so let's have a look at this second example. Uh, it says solve the equation of sine of 2 theta minus 35 equals minus 1 and the interval is from minus 180 to positive 180. But that interval is for theta. We need the interval for 2 theta minus 35. So that's our first thing we've got to work out. What interval are we working on? And so for 2 theta minus 35, our interval is going to be less than or equal to, we take our 180, we double it, so times 2, and we take away 35. And also it's going to be greater than or equal to minus 180. We double it and we take away 35 again. So our 2 theta minus 35 is going to be operating on a range from minus 395, work that out on your calculator, up to 325. So we've got to work out the range on which we're working first. Then we can know where our solutions are going to lie. So now we can work out our sine 2 theta minus 35. 
is equal to minus 1, as we've always done. That means that 2 theta minus 35 is going to be equal to the inverse sine, or sine to the minus 1 of minus 1. And if I work that out on my calculator, I should get 270 degrees. So that's 2 theta minus 35. Now I've got to find out how many solutions I have that lie in the interval from minus 395 to 325. So I sketch my sine curve. Always sketch the curve. So sine curve, let's do the positive aspects first. That's 180, that's 360. And the negative aspects, That's um, minus 180, and that's minus 360. So 270, let's change, change the color of the pen, wise or not, is going to be here. So we need to sketch a line, see wherever, where else it intersects. Oops, and it's there. And that point is minus 90. So we've got two solutions. So we can say 2 theta minus 35 is equal to um, minus 90 and 270. Now we've got our two solutions. We can now work out theta, which is going to be equal to minus 90 plus the 35, all divided by 2. And the same thing with 270 plus the 35 because it's change size, change sign, over 2, which gives us minus 27.5 degrees and 152.5. Those are our two solutions. Okay, so we've got to check what we're trying to find the value for, and then make sure we compensate for the range. Once we've done that, we solve our um, equation as normal, and then we sketch our curve. Oops, should have uh, written sine there. It's a sine curve. Okay, and our maxima is one, minima is minus one. Okay, so uh, hit pause. Copy the um, copy the example down, and once you're done, I've got a couple of questions for you to attempt. Okay, so exercise ten e. I'm quite happy for you to uh, work down the left hand side of the page if you're unsure and you want to attempt some more examples then uh, by all means do so and they work up to question seven okay good